Hi Libra and welcome to May. So let's start with uh, the card that I pulled for you and you came through Fall Equinox and Release. And this is absolutely a lovely card, right? Because it's really talking about the trees and this is when we see trees in their definite glory, right? Preparing for the winter and basically conserving their en energy, right? And they are basically contracting their life force by releasing their leaves, right? But these rays of suns are giving us this beautiful sight and we never think of this as death we see that as regeneration and that probably is the real meaning of the card death over here right so it's kind of like really important for you to let anything in your life literally fall away pun intended that is no longer useful or needed for I don't know, the emerging kind of like new you. You need to allow yourself to shed what maybe is becoming a burden to you and what is no longer congruent with whatever your sole purpose is. So you will probably be taking more, more rest and you'll be allowing yourself to actually really make preparations, right? So if I were you, I would specifically look into your material possessions and be really brutally honest with yourself, kind of like trying to figure out which of these can be given away or somehow released. The card is release. It's very important to let go of the energy of something holding you back. Maybe you also want to consider shedding relationships that maybe have served their purpose and they may be no longer viable. Also, same thing comes for work. Even though maybe you have been laid off, you're realizing, my gosh, what have I been doing? Uh, what's going on, right? And something that maybe is becoming devoid of interest and passion. So with release, it's only coming a sense of being lighter, just like the trees that kind of like shows their nakedness uh, during the winter when the leaves are leaving, right? So it's telling you that life is ready to birth following the period of quiet and gestation. So you really need to let go, and I'm trying to figure out who is creating the noise behind me, of whatever is kind of like old, what's outlived its purposefulness in your life. You need to trust that something else will take its place. So the other card you're going to see later, and let's see what else is coming and happening this particular month for you. So Libra, Libra, oops, Libra, Libra. So the bottom of the deck is Fire Queen reversed, exactly. Tone down the action, go into contemplation. Fire Queen is mover and shaker, and clearly, like, there is, like, completely uh, the opposite, where you are really trying to figure out, really, uh, the whole concept is about letting go. The whole concept is possibly spring cleaning. That's when you're letting go. You have to be totally brutal about that. It's literally things that are no longer useful for you. Not with, oh, it might be useful sometimes down the road. Let it go. It's going to come back to your life eventually what you will need when you need it. Even if you need to repurchase it, it's going to come back to you when you need it. Because there is, like, a sense of dust or stagnation or something that really needs to be released this particular time. And then you have a seven of sky and that's a good card when it reverses. It's not so great card when it's upright. So here we see a like, kitty cat being distracted for a second and the other kitty is just like taking the mouse right away. So that deception or somebody being a smart aleck or something like that uh, is maybe something that you have experienced in your life. Maybe there's like something that you feel uh, pressured with, something that you feel it's coming to your path 
this is release this is also letting go this is hey you know what you really wanted maybe you needed more than me and it's not feeling bad about it it's not being facetious it's not being uh, coming from the position of authority or i'm better than you it's simply hey you know what I can get it. I am capable and you are not going to hold me back and I'm not going to even spend that minute on you. So this is the proverbial aha moment, getting realization about ourselves and about relationships in our lives. And then we also have the wheel re reversed, which means that, again, it's, it's on a downward spiral, which could mean that things are happening to us, that some reveals are happening also looks like that something you might be involved into something and somebody either accusing you of something or or kind of like I can see all reflectors kind of like image shown to me was reflectors being shine sh like shining at you and you are not feeling comfortable with that almost like feeling exposed and naked um, but you really need to kind of like really figure it out um, that this is only a temporary solution there's like something that also is coming to the surface in order for this to kind of like reach possibly the final closure we see see kitten in the past so that kind of like is telling me that maybe there's like some flirting going on or some messaging going on back and forth something really really gentle the baseline is Earth Kitten. So now we have a sea and Earth Kitten, so it's the water and Earth. It's really good for nourishment and it's really good for growth. This is really talking about maybe new friendships, maybe uh, acceptance of people who are very different. Maybe you also have personalities around you that are really kind of like prickly and that maybe you cannot go very far with them because you're a really smooth operator, you are kind of like very diplomatic, but nothing really works on this person. But there is like also a realization that you can learn quite a bit from this person or realization why this person got in a way it was. Maybe something like this is happening to you and now you're seeing things in a completely different, like I mean light, if you wish. And then we have the lovers. So it doesn't look like it's going to be any shortage of lovers in your life. The lovers is not only about partners in our life, but it's also about choices that we make. Uh, some of you are going to invite other people in your life after you release someone. Or somebody might be releasing somebody this month. And hence, it's going to be something else. Maybe uh, somebody's coming into your life who has been just a friend and now they're becoming something more. Maybe you are revealing your true feelings to someone else. Maybe uh, you have been dealing with someone who has been in a tricky situation. Maybe they have been going through separation. Maybe they have been going through divorce and um, kind of like a time was slipping through the fingers. Maybe... Um, it was really hard to kind of like make things gel but now it's some element of freedom that is really happening in all of that and strength is about commitment strength is about um, doing your utmost to be well behaved to be on your best behavior to be supportive to resist challenge resist negative reaction to challenge better to put to kind of like uh, show like the true strength so this is almost like this frontline kind of like workers ability hey you know I'm going to do things no matter what you maybe are fighting for someone or maybe somebody's fighting for you but there is like something that is really lovely about that there's like something that is really gentle and very romantic about that so in your house, you have Sky King. Maybe you're feeling there is something about justice, and since your sign rules justice, it could be something about the justice system that you feel it's not working well in your favor. Favor. Maybe you feel, because this is really interesting, they are, they are connecting here, that something is reversing, because this is somebody in the upper situation who is very fair, almost to a fault. But when it reverses, it's somebody who is looking for some self-gratification or somebody who can be even mean, somebody who will not have a proportionate uh, 
kind of like things so th the, the punishment is not proportionate to the deed if you wish so be careful that this is not you because this is all warning you that you're going to have challenges and this is why you're getting these cards telling you to be tolerant to be patient to to kind of like approach things with really soft gloves and that's going to be the only way of handling things because this whole nakedness that we saw in this card release is about you being naked, you being exposed, you needing to deal with that, knowing this is just a stage where things are going to start growing again. In your environment, it could be some kind of like boundary setting. There is like the five of wands, five of fire over here. We see a whole bunch of kittens playing. And sometimes things get out of hand. Maybe you have you have put your foot down over something and now this is being challenged. Maybe there is like some issue that needs to be addressed and it's going to be harder than you expected initially. Because this is always saying that everybody has their push and pull and sometimes in that game and push and pull we we kind of like need to find how far we can push and how much we are going to allow other people to get into our space but since this is now in your environment somebody is imposing on, on your on your boundaries on your edges on on your ideas of what is acceptable what is not acceptable and you're not actually not going to like it and that's why i see possibly the reaction to that is going to be harsh but this is exactly what you need to fight against this month. So just keep in mind that you have to try to be in Zen as much as you can this month. So your hopes and fears is grace, the temperance. You really hope that things are going to work out, that, you know, the impossible can be made possible. This is that card of, hey, kitties like swimming and kitties, you know, kind of like enjoying things that proverbially they don't. When it reverses, and in this category, we are looking both up and down, it, it really talks about, hey, things are really not gelling. And you're realizing certain things cannot be made to work. Certain things are just not repairable. Certain things just cannot do it. So you have, you're hoping for the best, but you are also kind of like apprehensive of some situation in your life right and some situation in your life is going to start culminating uh toward the end of this year for whatever this is really happening right now it could be something uh part of the legal system because after all you do have a karma card over here and something is karmically happening for you at this period of time and then you have the sun and I told you, it's just give it enough time. The sun is going to shine again. You will know who is your in your in your inner circle. You will know who is has to be excluded and who simply is, let's say, neutral in this entire situation. So it is something that you can strive toward. You have one, two, three, four, five um, major arcanas. This is going to be a big month for you. And big months are usually challenging. And your challenge is going to end up with this beautiful sun card, with this beautiful glow and goddess energy which is really really important so yeah you know just take it easy and just do the good the right thing because some things are going to come to the surface and if the right thing and with the most integrity is not applied it can be get very tricky so that release is very important so let's see what is this card <laughs> oh my goodness release again well in this deck karma deck this is really talking about this lady who is going through the graveyard as she's running home. You know how the graveyard can actually uh, bring a whole bunch of like spirit in us. So she's hearing basically this wind and she's hearing the rain and she's kind of like starting to be terrified when she feels that this is really speaking to her. But yet she's hearing that being said in her own voice. and it's kind of hearing lots of hurtful things being said right and almost like hey it is you you are the wrong one you are the one who wronged me i will not forgive you it's all your fault right so she listening her own words is realizing that this is really making her miserable so so she is leaving that graveyard now getting this new shift getting this new paradigm uh, she's ready to forgive herself and she's ready to forgive others so interestingly enough that we are getting like these two release cards for you so 
hello message is really really clear this is all about personal responsibility and release of blame it is really time to clean the debris and move on you cannot move forward if you want to hide you cannot move forward if you want to apply the same tools that you did so far they maybe did get you somewhere but now you need to get different tools now you need to process yourself and go to the next level so this graveyard is again you need to go through this naked period you need to face your own demons this is about healing it's also about re remission and if you're angry maybe it needs to come out right so you need to face your past and you need to let go because there is like something from your past that is affecting people who are in your present and you really need to work on it because you cannot longer keep your secrets they're going to be exposed and if you think you're going to be judged on them you're going to react very negatively instead try to think that people will see you as more human people will see and gain a greater understanding on who you are and how you deal with things the sun is going to shine in the end guys so keep this in mind and release what no longer serves you and what is not in your best interest i love you libra have a wonderful month and Join my social media if you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel. If you want a reading with me, uh, visit me on ketter.ca or just send me an email and I'll be more than glad to chat with you. All the best. I love you.